Okay, uh, good morning, all of you. And uh, today we will discuss uh, interface building two, which is the part of the HCI uh, human computer interface unit five. So, uh, you know, time to time we will discuss about why uh, using interface building two into the software tools. So, uh, the course is outlined basically where we are discuss about two software tools, the specification method, interface building two, and evolution technical two. So in this uh, uh, chapter here, in these topics, they basically we will discuss about how uh, the human computer interface. We are uh, working on that particular different different tools. So first one is uh, interface software tools. Interface software tools is basically it is created to the interface according to the uh, users. So surprising that people have been working for a long time to create tools to help with it. Today, many of the these tools and idea have progressed about research into commercial system. And in their effectiveness has been very uh, demonstrated. So, uh, into the research system uh, also continue to evolve quickly, and uh, the models that were popular five years ago. And uh, we are using different different uh, models and different different tools for the different different uh, use uh, purpose. Okay. So, uh, for example, the demise of open loop will take a number of tools and the emergence of new styles of uh, uh, user interface, such as pen based computing, and also we are using the multimeter tools. Okay. So basically, these are the four, five types of uh, uh, interfaces softwares are there. As shown in figure, uh, user interface uh, software may be divided into different different layers. Uh, the first layer uh, is uh, the in the Windows system, operating system, toolkit, higher level tools, and the application. So basically, of course, many practical systems span the multiple layers. So basically, the first one is we are uh, discuss about the operating system. So first, the main most idea about the operating system, then operating system layer goes to software or windowing system, and then windowing system goes with the toolkits, different different tools, tools are here, and then toolkits is uh, uh, going to the higher level tools, and these higher level tools after that verify last uh, applications. Okay, so these are the hierarchy of uh, uh, the any tools. So software tools basically uh, the user interface should be reliable, standard, safe. Inexpensive, effective, widely acceptable, and we will uh, predictable schedule. So, our uh, software tools help to achieve this. Okay, so we have to first achieve to that that particular software tools is very reliable. Okay, if they are as not reliable, then we cannot use a particular type of software tools. So, what the architect needs, if, if suppose you are the UI architect and what you want to from the uh, user's point of view. So, simple and quick method of sketching UI. First one. Precise method for working out details with the client or coordinating with the team member and for telling the developers what to do. So, first piece this is the basic need of architect is to identify uh, how to use of these tools and very simple tools are there. So, set of tools are available. The so first one is UI specification method, second one is to software tool to support design and software engineering. Third one is to evaluation and uh, critiquing tools. Okay, so three set of tools are available into the market. For it is specification method means it is to specify the tool. Second method is basically it is to uh, according to the design purpose. And third one is to uh, identify or we can say that testing the uh, the values or uh, testing the topics just like uh, for the evaluation and uh, if there is any uh, drawback are there, if there any any Weakness are there so that we are using the technical tool. So today's trends is basically working on to the desktop to web mobile. So uh, right now there is a lot of uh, every user have a mobile and we are maximum working are on our mobile data, just like to any uh, any uh, Excel, any Word, uh, any uh, payment. So all we are using with the so trend is basically desktop to the web or web mobile users are using to your customer side. So UI building tools basically is need to adapt it for these changes according to the changes. So nowadays the, uh, the maximum websites are is a mobile friendly website. Okay. So into the specification method, basically we are working with the grammars. Okay, grammar is basically the same set of specific set of rules. For example, the specification of textual command or expression that a program should be understood. Okay. So verification of validity of the user input for example via forms so such type of a uh, uh, grammar is bml like a 
So problem is basically into the grammar that is incomplete, need supplement to ad hoc techniques to specify the semantics. So example is of the grammar for the UI purpose, basically multi-party grammar. Multi-party grammars, it is the extension of the DNF grammar that levels the node terminals with the party of an interaction that produces a string. So these are the basically advantages for the other clause values that is formal and verified by the computer programmer plus like to completeness or correctness. Difficult to follow, complicated, less suitable for the two dimensional interaction style form or DNF. So these are the two uh, disadvantages. So what is BNF? BNS is basically the name is Becker's normal norm form. So in this Becker's norm form, non-terminals is, is tends to non-terminals or it is a combination with the terminals. So just like the telephone number is represented, telephone number is basically equal to the area code, then the exchange code and the local number. And area code is the combination of the digit. Exchange is also the combination of the digit. And the local number, it is also the combination of the digit. And digit is basically, it is the 0 to 9, any digit. So incomplete, good to specify format, but fail to specify content, such as valid exchange or the area code. And the second level of software is used to validate the content. Complex, as a BNF grammar grows, it becomes very complex and difficult to follow or change. Multi-party grammar. Where is, uh, what is multi-party grammar? Multi-party grammar is basically used for showing interaction between more than one party. If there is more than one parties uh, that that we are using the multi-party grammar uh, according to the Sinderman 1982. Non-terminals labeled by the party which generates it U for user and C for the computer. So effective for text-oriented command sequencing which has repeated change. For example, session is equal to U means opening and C means responding just like the responding the computer. So U is opening according to the login username. Username is basically it is the combination of the string and C is responding according to the hello and username. Hello and what is the username that is the reply from the computer. Okay. So how many types of specification methods are we using? We are using menu selection and the dialog box trees. So menu selection means which kind of menus are there. So first we have to stack show the stakeholder of a project of a complete and detailed coverage of the system. Show high level relationship and the low level details. And help in discovering inconsistency, check for completeness, redundancy and the ambiguity. Due to the intention of avoiding clutter, such trees are incomplete or restricted to the static view and do not show the entire structure of possible user actions. Problems, what kind of problems we are facing with the you know, menu selection in the dialog box? In some aspect of UI design, a precise specification for every possible action is required. B, in case of non menu system, there might be need to be space, a set of possible states, and also allow to the transition. So, what kind of solution are there? The solution is basically the use transition diagram. Transition diagram means uh, the diagram which is transitioned from one state to the another state. Okay. So, transition diagram typically TD, set of nodes available are there that we can say that it's a name is states. And uh, the links between the nodes that we can say that the transition or levels. So many specialized transition diagram are available with a specific notation for a specific application domain that is using for the word processing or the e-commerce websites. What kind of pros are there? It can be effective for following flow of action or keeping track of current state and option to the UI system can also be verified like the reachability directs cause too complex with growing system complexity too many states and possible transition confusing when many nodes need to link to help back quit in their basic form poor representation of concurrency and the synchronization so alternative state charts diagram we are using into the 
a specification method. What is state charts? State chart is basically it is grouping feature for nesting from one to another, allow for factoring representing the transition out. Okay. So offer extension of concurrency, synchronization, external interrupt event, and the user action. So offer extension with data flow and the constraint specification may be extended with embedded screen prints to show the visual state of a graphical results. So that we are using the unified model language state chart diagram. Okay. So in we are using in this state chart. Next topic is how to build the interface that we are using the interface building tool. So the first benefit of high level software tool in the content of SCI human computer interface. So basically the first one is user interface independent. So user interface independent sub so first one is separate inter interface design from the internal enable multiple user interface strategy and multiple platform support. Establish role of UI architect, enforce standards. Okay, so these are the user interface independence. Second, what kind of methodology and notation are they use? So first, that is we are using the developed design procedure. What kind of procedure we are follow? So first is design. Second one, find ways to talk about to the design. How to design with the talk? Okay, how to talk about the design? And next one is to create project. Management. Okay. Next step. So first one is requirement. Second one is to design, and third one is to rapid prototyping. Rapid prototyping means we have to uh, we have to create a prototype of your project, your yeah, of our product. So try out new ideas very early. The first is small uh, type of uh, prototype are there, and these prototype we have to test, revise, test, revise, test, revise. So English end user, manager, and the customers. These are the three software support, increase productivity, offer constraint and consistency check, facilitate team approach, and the easy maintenance. So that is basically included into the support system. Okay. Next one is the interface mockup tools. Now these the main purpose of this interface mockup tool is to create quick sketch. During the early design to explore multiple alternative and facilitate communication. Okay, so that is basically the mockup tools use are very important also in the pre-contract phase. For example, slideshow, macromedia director, flash dream viewer, MS Visio, J Builder, Visual Basic. So these are using for the interface mockup tool. So, depending on the approach tools, either show simple slides of screen or provide complete prototypes where user can select, navigate, click, scroll, and prototypes are naturally lifted. Software engineering tools. That is basically the main purpose. Build the final product. So, identify the the mockup tools then finally we have to design the main product so in earlier days general purpose languages like java c++ were used to build ui from the scratch but today scenarios there are a lot of software tools are available a lot of apis are available a lot of frameworks are available for your yeah, build the final product so what is the step to classification of ui building tools so already we have discussed about to the layers so layer basically operating system toolkit gui toolkit application framework or application layer general trend so lack of modularity led to building our architecture that separate the ui from application logic for example mvc pattern also support cross platform development okay next one is windowing system layer windowing system layers means no wizards available need to draw manually no event support encapsulated in the object low level work are required so especially useful important for new platform or if resources are expensive build the basic of higher level layer and these are basically cross are there performance are good and it is very flexible but there are some also 
कौन सा आर्डर रिक्वायर्ड एक्सटेंसिव प्रोग्रामिंग लॉन्ग लर्निंग ओके ऑफर लिटिल सपोर्ट ऑफ इंटरेक्टिव टूल एंड नो विजुअलाइजेशन टूल्स आर अवेलेबल ओके दैट इज अ बिल्डिंग सिस्टम नेक्स्ट इज द जीयूआई टूलकिट लेयर सो जीयूआई टूलकिट लेयर इन टू आइडेंटिफाई द ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस टूलकिट सो इट इज प्रोवाइड द सॉफ्टवेयर लाइब्रेरी एंड विजिट्स फ्रेम डायलॉग बॉक्स स्क्रॉल बार्स including event encapsulation as building blocks first abstraction shorter development time great flexibility often based on general purpose language make it easier to combine ui with the application ui cons possibly high learning times building and maintenance time is still high no support for the consistency experienced programmer needed example for toolkits i log views gtk qt java Net UI toolkit. Okay, so these are the basic identification of UI. Application framework is specialized language layer. Application framework. Software architect is specially designed for building UI idea. Many UI based programmer have a similar structure. Capture structures, translate it to the classes. Object and methods which can to be extended or used. Common UI widgets are the UI toolkit. Based on the conventional visual programming, simple scripting language, general purpose language, less support for non-graphical part of the application. The, for example, of this application framework is Cocoa, MFC, or the Macromedia Director. A specialized language. The so language is specifically designed for the building UI. First one can also be used for the rapid prototyping. For example, TCL, JavaScript is the combination with the HTML that is the specialized language according to the specialized building block. Okay, application layer that is interface generator also called the model based or the UI management system. So visual tool that allow for the most part of application to be built with one tool and without coding. So only available for a small class of application. For example, the DB printed and the research prototype. selecting the right tool obviously higher level tools are more efficiently however they are most restricting as well finding the right tool is a trade off between six criteria which criteria are there first which part of the application do you need to build using the tool first one second one how long the learning time to be expert available third one how long can we building time be fourth one do you accept the methodology being imposed or rather than advised fifth one is communication with other sub system required and the last one is do you need to consider extensibility of the model So these are the six criteria for the uh, identifying the trade-off between the right tool. So next topic is basically evaluation and critiquing tool. So evaluation means we have to evaluate your your uh, your interface is good or not. Okay, according to the user's uh, feedback, according to the user's need. So first. from simple spell check to more sophisticated tools that provide metric reporting number of display results even more advanced check depth of menu trees redundancy inconsistency in levels to list display analysis program today is also available for the graphical ui next one is to run time logging software which is basically to uh, to uh, to collect the how much time of your software is uh, onto the running time that is generate to the frequencies of uh, of your activity of your pattern so capture user pattern of activities for example report on error frequencies menu selection dialog box appearance help innovation or the captures performance data for example in your mobile that is to capture the all activities of your uh, uh, of your activity capture all activities just like to how much time your your mobile is operating according to you. so next is the prototyping language which type of languages are used from the different different visits so java is basically used for application applet language 
It is a cross platform intended to all application that is on uh, the all platform I mean hypercard movement between the cards for example movement between the screen TCL DK or scripting language are here using So what kind of toolkits and the uh, languages are used so toolkit provide UI widgets that can be used for develop the application and this is also like the developer focus on the building the application instead of the widgets Prototyping languages allow the rapid development of prototype applications, but thread can entail trade-offs. Okay, so these are the basic fundamental idea. Okay, so uh, today we will discuss about uh, already discuss about uh, what kind of evolution tools are there, what are the critical tools are there, what are the software tools are there, what are the specification methods are there. So if you have any query regarding of these tools, and you just to uh, feel free to contact me. My mail address is Gupta. Thank you. Thank you very much.